energy forecast for August 2024. So on August 22nd, we are going to see the sun move out of his rulership in Leo energy and move into Virgo energy. So of course, this is going to kick off Virgo season. Okay, so let's unpack. The sun, while in his rulership in Leo energy, returns us to the heart and soul, the authenticity of who it is that we really are, what it is that actually makes us happy, what it is that we're being called to do, called to pursue, and of course, a new mission, new truth, new purpose, now kind of grasps our attention, and now we're trying to figure out how we're going to get from where it is that we're at to where it is that we desire to be. That Leo energy was a fixed fire sign, meaning there was a new spark, new fire, new flame, new passion, new desire that get downloaded in us. We weren't able to do anything with it as of yet. Along, along with that, a lot of the retrograde planets are really going to, I'm going to say, prevent us from taking action and making moves the way that we want to do for the first part of Virgo season. It's going to be more of a mental game than it is going to be major moves being made. However, towards the end of Virgo season, we will find ourselves in eclipse season where we're not in control. So there is going to be some chaos, some craziness, some reorganization, some restructuring that maybe we don't have full control over, but we're definitely going to get thrown in too. Virgo energy is a mutable sign. So when we move out of a fixed energy into a mutable sign, now it's time to be flexible. It's time to make changes. It's time to adapt. It's time to kind of pivot. Now, when we talk about that pivot point, we just had this full moon in Aquarius. That was a major illumination on what it is that we're moving away from and what it is now that we're kind of wanting to gain closer proximity to. And of course, that full moon in Aquarius, we're still very much in it. We are still very much under the influence of Saturn and Jupiter's square off to illuminate the goal, the vision, the dreams, and what we actually have to do to build a structure, a foundation strong enough for us to actually house the dreams, goals, and visions that we want to pursue from here. The Virgo energy is ruled over by Mercury. It's the only earth sign that is ruled over by the mental plane. Mercury, ruler of the mental plane, is currently retrograde. Again, looking back, we're reflecting, re-editing, revising, redoing a lot of the matters of the heart from the past. We have to reframe a couple of things. And so that's, again, another reason of why I say that the first part of Virgo season essentially is just going to be like a mental game of planning, of strategizing more than it is actually taking action and making moves because we need Mercury, Virgo's ruler, to actually go direct, which he won't do until the end of August, in order for us to actually move forward to move ahead. Now, that being said, we won't see Mercury, the ruler of Virgo season, move back into Virgo energy until September. We need to get at that four degree in Virgo energy before we actually put the past behind us. Once we kind of move into that fifth degree of the Virgo energy for Mr. Mercury, that's going to be new territory. That's going to be when we get to take action, make moves and actually implement some of the changes that we're currently planning and strategizing around. So essentially, the sun shining a bright light in this Virgo energy is going to highlight the smaller details of our lives. And again, with Virgo energy, it is the fixer, the healer, the resolver of the zodiac, of the physical form, the physical mental plane. We do have to understand that that means that the sun is sitting directly across from Pisces energy because Virgo and Pisces energy sit across from each other in the zodiac wheel. And we have Saturn and Neptune, both retrograde in that Pisces energy. So we are going to eventually have some opposition, some choice points, some crossroads points with those particular planets. The Virgo energy being the fixer, healer, problem solver of the Zodiac needs to identify the problems in order to actually fix them. Now, we do have a little bit of a list going because, of course, Mercury, ruler of Virgo energy, was in Virgo energy before he retrograded. And so we were already examining the parts of self, the parts of our mental plane, the parts of our physical realms that weren't working, that needed to do better, that needed some improvements. So we already kind of have a list of problematic issues and areas is already kind of going. The Virgo energy is mind and matter. Again, Mercury is mind. Earth energy is matter. What we focus on, 
is what we manifest. Good, bad, or otherwise, doesn't matter. If you're pouring your time, your energy, and your attention into all the things that are bad, all the things that are wrong, then you are going to create more situations and circumstances to prove to you that that is true. Again, if you want to orient to a more positive type of mindset, you are going to see the positive repercussions of that particular mental shift definitely manifest in your physical realm. The Virgo energy helps us examine the smaller details of what we're focused on, of our inner dialogue, the areas of our lives that are problematic at this point. We have to focus on the smaller details because it is that that is either going to make or break our overall success in trying to bring this new goal, this new vision, this new dream to life. Our habits, our daily routines, the energy, the effort that we're putting into ourselves is going to make or break our success in trying to bring this new realm, this new reality to life. So this is about examining the smaller little puzzle pieces of our lives and how they snap together in order to reveal the greater, grander picture. Now, earth energy, we're focused on the physical realm. We want to be logical and practical. We want to just do the things that need to be done. We're not, you know, overly emotional in this energy. We're dealing with life, matter of fact, as it is, not for the way that we wished it would be. But it's, I'm going to say it's not a lot of fun because we have to get our shit together. We have to get organized, right? Virgo season is a time where everybody is coming off of vacation. We're going back to school. We're going back to work. It requires new routines, requires a new, let's call it mindset. We have to focus our attention on where we need to kind of do better in our overall life, in our overall day-to-day -day practices. So yes, there is a lot of nitty grittiness that has to take place because of course, if we're trying to build something new, we have to get serious about constructing the proper type of floor plan in order to house that goal, that vision, that dream that we eventually want to start manifesting. This is going to be a lot of, I'm going to say connecting the dots, a, a lot of planning, a lot of thought, a lot of introvertedness, a lot of analyzing, a lot of evaluation. And of course, with Mercury still retrograde, there is an intensity of really reflecting back, revising, seeing what we could do different, where it is that we need to make a change, restructure, redesign, reformat our physical realms, our physical lives. So yeah, we're going to get down to the nitty gritty. Yeah, we're going to get organized. Yeah, we're going to improve certain areas of our life. And we're definitely going to take a little bit more pride in our ability to have power and control over our physical realm. Yes, okay, we have to do our tasks, our chores. We have to honor our roles, our responsibilities, our commitments. Yes, we have to do better in taking care of ourselves. But we also have to get a little bit more together in our mental plane, which is going to prove a little bit more difficult while Mercury is retrograde. We need to kind of see where it is that we're putting a little bit too much pressure on ourselves. Again, many of us are afraid to start something new because we want to be perfect at it right away. Virgo energy has a very high level of perfectionism. Um, Virgo energy is also where obsessive compulsive disorder comes out of. We want everything to be perfect. The Virgo energy wants to create order out of the chaos of our lives and starting with our mental plane. So again, you'll hear me say this oftentimes, if you take a good look around at your physical environment, like your home, the different rooms within your home, that is a direct mirror, a direct reflection of what's going on in your inner realm. Basically, it's a mental health mirror. If your home is cluttered and chaotic and has no order to it, that's a good representation that emotionally and mentally you're all over the place. There is no organization in your thoughts and in your emotions that manifests in your environment. Again, what you focus on, what goes on in the mental plane manifests in the physical form. So this is a time for us to boss up, for us to do better, for us to be better, for us to analyze where it is that we are essentially blocking the progress where we're the problem. And we can flip the script in our inner dialogue to now be the solution. And when we flipped our, our inner dialogue, our narrative on where it is that we can create better order in our thoughts and in our emotions, suddenly our environment declutters, our environment has more order and it has less chaos. One of the things in Virgo energy is to get your house in order, your house, meaning your physical home and 
your house, your temple, which is your physical body that houses your mental plane, that houses your emotions, that houses your soul and your spirit. And so it's time for us to do some reorganization, some decluttering, some, let's call it decleaning, if you will, on the areas of life that are a little bit cluttered, a little bit down to the nitty gritty and creating some funk in our lives. We have to invest our time, our energy, our attention into the things that we want to be building upon, the things that are going to help us out, the things that are going to make us feel safe and secure and stable in the long run. So we're not really, I'm going to say, we're not really attracted or overwhelmed to the end goal, to the destination. We kind of realize that it's the journey that is going to dictate what that destination is actually going to look like. We have to focus on the smaller pieces, the smaller details that make up the greater, grander whole. And so, you know, we're just going to be cleaning house inside of us and outside of us. And we are going to pay a little bit more extra attention and extra care to the areas of life that have been blocking us from making the major progress that we feel pressurized to actually make. We're going to have some amazing astrology pop off throughout Virgo season. Uh, side note, Uranus is going to go retrograde in Taurus energy on the exact same day that Pluto was retrograding back into the 29th critical crisis degree of Capricorn energy prior to eclipse season. So that should be fun. We are definitely going to see a lot of movement as we normally do in a mutable sign, a mutable season, because there has to be a rearranging prior to the equinox that comes when we move into Libra season. So that equinox energy, that rebalancing of the scales, so to speak, that rebalancing of those karmic chapters, of course, requires an upheaval, right? So, you know how when you start cleaning your house, most of the time it gets messier before it actually gets clean. It's the, the whole storm like quality where again, you know, shit needs to hit the fan before we realize that we have to step back, see it from a different lens and start putting things in order. And that is definitely what we're going to do in this Virgo season. I am going to recommend that you download the Virgo season e-guide. That's going to be your energetic Bible, so to speak, to keep you in alignment and ahead of the energies. We have a lot popping off. Again, the name of the game is to be flexible, to change, to adapt, to do better, to improve. And that Virgo energy is going to hold us to a very, very high standard.